Welcome back to another exciting episode of Ask Malik, your source for campus advice. I'm here once again with my co-host, Lauren McEwen. How are you today, Lauren? I'm doing all right, Malik. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. And we're here to answer your questions about anything and everything. Now, what happened to you guys this week? Did you make a new friend? Did you have a horrible homecoming? Did you just join a sorority or a fraternity? Or did your advice column finally make it into the school newspaper? What? Ask Malik's in the quad? Yeah, they put it in the quad last week. Oh. Oh. The first issue came out October 24th. You guys have to check it out. You have to. Definitely. But anyway, <clears throat> remember, keep sending in your questions because I'm here to help you with anything and everything. I think we're ready to get started, Lauren. Give us our first question. Dear Malik, What's your opinion? Is it okay to go through your girlfriend or boyfriend's phone, Facebook, email, either with or without their permission? Should we all just stay out or should they have nothing to hide? Signed, Slightly Snoopy. Dear Slightly Snoopy, well first let me say that if you feel like you need to be going through your girlfriend or boyfriend's personal things at all, then that relationship may not be the best thing for you to be in right now. Relationships are supposed to be about trust. You shouldn't have to question what your significant other is up to when you're not around or they're talking to or whatever the case may be. But if you feel it is a must, asking for permission would be the best way to go about it. If they really have nothing to hide, then it shouldn't be a problem at all. Now, it might come up that he or she gets a little upset for you even questioning their loyalty to you. And that is an entirely different problem in itself. Like I said before, if trust and loyalty is becoming a problem in the relationship, Maybe you should reevaluate who you are with. Keep the questions rolling, Lauren. Dear Malik, my 17 year old sister is pregnant. I want to let her know that I support her, but not act overly thrilled about it considering the circumstances. Any advice as to what I could say to her to let her know that I'm here for her? Signed, Supportive Sis. Dear Supportive Sis, I know that this can be a very difficult situation to be in. You want to be happy for her because bringing life into this world is a joyous thing. On the other hand, she is very young and may not be ready to support that life. Just be honest with her. If you really are not the world and think that she can handle it, then let her know that you will be there for her throughout the entire pregnancy and when your little niece or nephew pops out. However, if you do believe that she is not ready, you have to allow her to make her own decision. You can be there for her with whatever she needs, but she put herself in this situation and it has, and she has to make a decision on what she wants to do. Help guide her on making the right decision. Things like this happen all the time, but it is completely up to the individual on how they decide they want to act on it. You can only be there to support her in all the ways that you know how. Lauren. I think we have time for one more. Let's hear it. Dear Malik, my sweet mate is so disrespectful. He constantly is coming in late, leaving dirty dishes, clothes, and papers all around the place. He's persistently drunk and is always bringing in a bunch of random people. Not to mention he continuously keeps us up late while he's trying to hook up with girls. Me and the other guys have talked to him and told him he needs to quit it, but he hasn't changed at all. We don't want to get him in trouble or cause a scene, but it's getting ridiculous. What should we be our next step? Signed, Ridiculous Roommate. Dear Ridiculous Roommate, you have to be assertive. I know that you aren't trying to cause a scene or anything, but it's completely getting out of hand. With each and everything that he does, you have to address it at that moment. Letting things slide puts the idea in his mind that they are okay, okay to continue doing. If he continues to be inconsiderate and disrespectful, maybe it is time to bring it to the intention of an authority figure. For example, the landlord, the RA, whatever. He has to understand that he is not living alone. And this is not the way you act when you have roommates. I know you are trying to be nice, but you are paying to live there and it is, has to be addressed. All right, guys, I think that's all the time we have for you today. Remember to look us up in the quad since we're finally there. I'm so excited. Continue to send in your questions to askmalik92 at gmail.com. I'm Malik Muhammad, and this is Lauren McEwen. 
And this is Ask Malik. Keep them rolling, Westchester. Chester.